Good morning students today we will continue with our poem go not to the temple by ravindranath tagore as in the previous session we discussed the summary and the explanation of the poem now we will continue with the central idea so before starting with the central idea let me tell you what central idea is central idea is the most important or the main idea of the poem now here being a spiritual poet rabindranath tagore forbids us to do many things like he says go not to the temple to put flowers upon the feet of god to light candles before the altar of god to bow down your head in prayer to pray on bended knees to ask for forgiveness for your sins instead of doing all these things he says that first fill your own house with the fragrance of love remove the darkness of sin pride and ego from your heart bow in humility before your fellow men bend down to lift someone who is downtrodden forgive from your heart those who have hurt you so according to him before serving god we must serve humanity because serving humanity is like loving god like serving god so open your copies and put the heading central idea from the margin line start writing through this poem the poet brings home the message that serving humanity is like loving god in this poem he says that instead of praying to god with flowers and candles or bowing and kneeling before him we should fill our hearts with love humility and forgiveness to end the darkness of sin pride and ego now let's start with the back exercises open page number 50 of your books read and understand answer the following questions question number 1 what does the poet ask people to do before they go to the temple and offer their flowers of devotion at the feet of god for this answer refer to the explanation of stanza number 1 Question number two: What kind of light does the poet ask the devotees to light before lighting the candles at the altar of God? The answer is: The poet asks the devotees to light the lighting of goodness. Question number three: Why does the poet ask the temple goers not to bow their head in prayer? For the answer of this question, refer to the explanation of stanza number 2 question number 4 what kind of recommendation does the poet make to the temple goers before praying on knees for the answer to this question refer to the explanation of stanza number 3 question number 5 what message does the poet give through this poem for the answer refer to the reference to the context exercise b which stanza of the poem do you like the most and why answer is the last stanza as it teaches us the value of forgiveness but you can answer it according to your own choice but also give the reason next question exercise c mention at least two metaphors used in this poem I have already discussed what metaphor is and also the two metaphors used in this poem. So, refer to the previous explanation that I did with you and write the answer. I hope through this video you have understood the poem Go not to the temple. Now, complete your copy and book work. Remember to read the poem again and again for your better understanding thank you